Chosen ones, where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are. Chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video, right? Great. Your enemies and haters are about to join you to celebrate the blessings of God that is coming in your life. Oh, yes, chosen one. And you need to prepare for this. I'm telling you, the only way to defeat your enemies and haters perpetually in life is to fully live your life without any doubt and regret. Chosen one, you have to ignore their existence. Pay no attention to their existence. Give your time not to them. Don't give them your time, your energy, right? Most of them are just attention seekers. They are time wasters. And that is what they want to achieve. That is what they want to do. Don't focus on your enemies and haters. Focus on developing yourself and building yourself to become a better version of yourself, to become your true and authentic self, right? Rather than trying to plot evil against them back, rather than trying to, I mean, be against them, paying revenge, okay? Forget, forget about them, forget about their, their existence and allow them their space to keep doing whatever they are doing to you. And I tell you, they will definitely end up destroying their own self. They cannot destroy who God has blessed. They cannot destroy who God has chosen. They cannot destroy who God has anointed. They cannot destroy who God has appointed. I'm telling you, they will try, but they will never ever succeed. They will become devastated. They will be stressed up. They will become surprised and amazed about the success that you are going to step in the blessings of God that is going to come your way. And I tell you, chosen one, they will come to celebrate with you. Those that laugh at you will come and be laughing with you. They will come and join you to make merry. They will come and join you to celebrate. Yes, chosen ones, because in their presence, a table is going to be set before you. Okay, so don't focus on your enemies. If your enemies and haters can, I mean, destroy you or, I mean, take your life, they would have done it a long time, but they cannot do it. All right. What normally, I mean, shorten our life as chosen ones by enemies and haters is that you paying attention to them you trying to reply them you trying to i mean give energy to whatever they are doing that is it you trying to live in fear is fear of enemies and haters that takes the life of people but enemies and haters themselves they have no power to destroy who god has blessed who god has chosen it is your own fear, out of the fear that you have towards them, that, oh, they are doing this to me. Oh, they are tarnishing my image. Oh, they are going, they are tarnishing my reputation. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, it is because of that, out of frustration, out of anxiety, out of being nervous, out of, the, you, you are missing fear. And out of fear, you're going to develop BP, high blood pressure. And other things, other sicknesses that will send you to your early grave. The best thing to do is to ignore their existence. Yes. You see, when somebody wants you to waste your energy on them, they are a, a, a attention seeker and they are trying to seek your attention and you ignore them. I tell you, that is the best form of punishment. Okay. That is the best form of punishment to your enemies who are trying to destroy you who are trying to pull you down pay them no attention just allow them keep doing what they're doing and i tell you whatever they are doing is a seed whatever they are doing they will reap it right you reap what you sow karma will definitely strike them so just keep being you just keep doing you and that is it that is what matters your enemies cannot do you anything if they can do anything to you, they would have, I mean, done it long time when you were a clot of blood. 
And if they cannot harm you, when you were even a clot of blood, very smallish, when you were an embryo, they couldn't destroy you. How much more a full grown-up like you, you that you know how to call on your God, you that you know now how to pray both prayers, you that you know how to send your petition, your supplication with thanksgiving to God. Huh? They can't. They can't do anything, I'm telling you. If they could have, they would have done that long time, but they couldn't. They can't do it. They just can't do it. Yes, because there is power inside of you. And they are even they are even afraid of that. So the best thing they can do is to hate on you. The best thing they can do is to try to say negative things about you. The best thing they can do is to, I mean, disseminate false information about you in order to tarnish your image. And out of fear and out of maybe desperation, all right, you will act to it, you will respond to it negatively. And that can develop, you know, some sort of sickness inside of you. But I tell you, your enemies don't have the power to take your life. All they can do is to maybe insult you. All they can do is to hate on you. All they can do is to criticize you. But they can't even beat you. Your haters, your enemies, they can't come and beat you. They can't come and do anything to you. Yes, they will only try to insult you. They will only try to criticize you. And remember... Anybody that stands for something great, any person that is trying to become successful, or anybody that is successful in life has haters, has enemies. Yes, the moment you stand for something, you will see people trying to be against that thing. If people are not against you, you have no enemies and haters. It means you've not stand for anything. Yes, and because you don't stand for something, definitely you're going to fall for anything. And as a chosen one, Stand for something. When you stand for something, when you stand for the truth, because you are a truth seeker, for sure they are going to hate on you. Yes, because you are aiming to be successful, to do good, bad people, negative people, toxic people are going to be hating on you. But don't let that hate make you to call it back into your shell. No. Not because of enemies. You will quit. Don't quit because of your enemies. Don't stop because of your enemies. Chosen one, if you never stop, if you never quit, you will definitely win. Remember, remember what scripture says. Scripture says, in the presence of your enemies, a table will be set before you. Yes, that is true. Believe in this for your life. A table will be set before you. And I tell you, they will be humiliated. They will be put to shame. Yes. They, they, they will try to be covering themselves, hiding themselves from you, all because what they wish never come to pass in, come to pass in your life. And that is God. That is our God. Our God never puts us to shame. Our God never abandons us or leaves us to be lonely. No. He said, I will not abandon you. I will be with you. I will see you true. I will protect and shelter you. I will govern you. You see, whoever God has chosen, and has given him or her assignment. The Lord directs his ways. And the Lord protects him from harm, from danger. Alright? So, whatever they are trying to do, don't just give them your attention. Remember Joseph in the Bible. His own brothers hated on him, envy him and jealous him. He did not give his attention to them. He keep focusing on his dream, on the promises of God for his life. And that's saw him through so the same way if you also keep holding on to that dream no matter the detractions no matter the haters no matter the enemies that comes that are trying to rob you you see the chief aim of the enemy is to sit is to steal to kill and to destroy is to rob you of your shine of the glory is to destruct you is to cause confusion in your life so when you are trying all their schemes it is just to cause confusion it is just to i mean distract you Okay, so never ever focus on the detractions, but keep on improving your focus. Keep on staying focused and keep on looking up there to become a better version of yourself as a chosen one. And I tell you, 
they will come and celebrate with you when you get to the top your enemies will be sending you congratulation notes yes they'll be telling you congratulations meanwhile it's not from their hearts but they have no option than to congratulate you they have no option than to say ah, congratulations yes because they've tried and they couldn't they've tried all their possible best but you know access denied <laughs> access denied chosen one god denied them access to destroy you god denied them access all right so if you have no option you you can't do anything you need to join if you can't stop them join them <laughs> as simply as that all right so prepare they will be sending you congratulation notes they will be joining you in celebrating in popping up champagne we gonna pop 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 champagne we gonna pop 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 champagne we gonna pop pop the, the, the french we say champagne right you are you gonna be popping some champagne you know <laughs> oh my god i love this right so that is the chosen one worry not enemies they can't do anything. They can't do foco. Yeah, they can't do foco. They cannot do anything to you. The best they can do is to criticize. The best they can do is to insult. But they can't. They can't beat you. So don't be afraid of your enemies. And don't be afraid of starting something new. Okay? The starting of everything is like that. It's going to be hard. There is going to be a lot of crit critics. Alright? But... They are there to help you keep checking yourself. They are there to help you keep correcting yourself. Yes, that is the aim of, that is the, 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 the benefits you'll be getting from your enemies and haters. Okay? Sometimes they will think they are criticizing you. They're hating on you. They're bringing you down. But whatever they, they say, you can learn from it. Build on it. Right? Use whatever they are trying to use to bring you down. I mean, rise above it, stand on it, and use it to elevate yourself. Use it to build yourself. When they are throwing stones at you, gather the stones and use it to build an empire, a castle for yourself. All right? When they are throwing, you know, lemons and, I mean, limes to you, oranges and whatever, use it to build some lemon juice, some, you know, uh, orange juice, some fruit juice, and enjoy it. All right, that's it. Remember, people normally throw stones to trees that bear good fruits. I remember when we were very young, when we go into mango hunting, if there is no fruit on the, on the tree, we're not going to throw stones at it. It is the fruit, it is, sorry, it is the trees that bears good fruit. And because we need such fruits, we throw stones at it, right? So that at least we'll get some to eat right so that's it when they are trying to throw stones at you remember people always throw stones at good things things with value and it is because you are a person of value right you are not just an ordinary person you are extraordinary person right so the, 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 the more the hates the more the attacks the more enemies know that the huge you are being blessed and that's it. They will celebrate with you. Keep on pushing forward and never ever give up in life. It is well with you, body, soul, and spirit. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.